mean? Well, volatility means, uh, there you go, this. Uh, because when you have wide swings like we've been having, up and then down a lot, and then just can't get your, your, your footing, uh, that's what leads to crazy markets, and ultimately now a better than 1,000 point hit in the Dow today, a uh, better than 4% hit that has us now, now, even with some of the gains along the way, 10% from our highs. That is volatility, my friends, and we have not shaken that off. In fact, if anything, it picked up steam by the end of today's trading. Let's go to market watchers, Melissa Armo and Dan Schaefer. Dan, you were here not too long ago essentially saying get ready for more of it, and sure enough, we've got more of it. This is already on track to be with a 6.5% loss through today. Uh, the worst week for the Dow since the famous meltdown the week of October 10th, 2008. What's going on? Well, I think that the investors are waking up to the fact that all these plans that are being made out of Washington and the way the economy's been functioning is just not happening. And they're starting to take their money out of the markets. Uh, liquidity is drying up because people are panicking. So the bid and ask are, are very wide. And I think it's a very dangerous time. And I've been warning about this for over a year that there was something wrong with the way the market was trading and the way the fundamentals have been in our economy. All right, and now I the fundamentals that, uh, to that point, Dan, hang on to that point, Dan. Out. Hang on to that point, because mm -hmm. Melissa, others will argue the fundamentals are not the problem. It's all this other stuff that's been confusing folks, that the fundamentals, whether you talk about the underlying economy with the jobless claims figure out today, the lowest in close to 45 years, much better than expected earnings, companies, rich in cash, sharing the loot with their workers, that all that basic stuff, all that, that sort of the macro stuff is good, good, good. What do you say? I think fundamentally and technically the market looks great. Remember, we've been rallying straight up almost since the election. The fact that, which was an anomaly by the way, that was very, very rare, very unique. The market has never power trended like that for 14 and a half months. The fact that we're falling in the last week, which by the way, it's only been four or five days, is not anything to panic about or all of a sudden start to scream bearish. And people were predicting a 10% correction anyways. The fundamentals look good. You gotta give tax reform a chance to work. It just passed. It's only first week of February, 2018. And as far as the technicals Go, you had the reason people are panicking is because the move happens so quickly right. if we had a nice do, 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 but the thing is that selling could you sing quickly. that again because <laughs> I like that but no no I had a review <laughs> Melissa you argued it very well you know Dan another thing on this is that uh, say what you will of this market uh, it, it, it its underpinnings have been exaggerated in other words we have all these exotic investments and you could trade off the VIX and these other you know, VIX alternatives that, that get so o over my head that we complicate this and these algorithms sort of in an, in an unemotional way just exacerbate these things. What do you think of that? Yeah. Well, I agree with that. I mean, there are vehicles out there that you can go triple times the shorts on the S&P or, or triple of anything. And I just think those should never have been approved. And it does add the volatility to the market. Especially because some of these underlying vehicles that you're referring to are, are backed by banks and just their credit rating. So, yes, I agree that that has added to the So, Dan, what are you looking turmoil. for now? What are you looking for now? We're down 10% from our highs. What are you looking for from here? Well, we're at, a, we're at that 23,800 level that I was first looking for. But based on the action of this week, I think that we're going to penetrate that level. And I think we're eventually going to end up at 18,000 before the dust settles. And the reason I say this, Neil, is so because everything has been... to go. Yeah, I, everything's been right. baked into the markets. The okay, tax Melissa, cuts, what do you think uh, that? He is saying another 20% to go, which would bring us down 30% from our highs. Listen, I don't predict tops and I don't predict bottoms. It's a wait and hold. If you're a long-term investor, there's nothing wrong here. There's no reason to panic. If All you're a right. short-term investor, then you would have been out. You would have been out last Friday. We had bad earnings in Google and Apple. That drove the market down last Friday. The sat Monday was a follow-through with a continuation of the sell-off. Right. And then it just happened so quickly, people panic. It has. All right. Guys, thank you both very, very much on breaking news now, including a guy who, who uh, single-handedly today stopped markets right in their path, Rand Paul why he has a problem with this budget accord. Next.